Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I am here to do my official vlog from South Africa, y'all. I have officially been back for one month and I have had time to sleep. You guys know how the jet lag is. I've had time to kind of catch back up and just get back into my regular schedule. So if you guys want the details from this trip, please stay tuned and I'll get them right to you. on friday that was the day that i was actually leaving to go and spend my day in cape town so i woke up super super early i'm talking about three o'clock or so to get to the airport for my 5 a.m flight and then i took an uber there uber is like super super the thing to do in Joburg. it works effortlessly i use that more than anything i only took a cab one time from the airport every other time i was moving and grooving in ubers so the um the uber that i took from my hotel to the airport it probably only cost me 12 bucks 13 us dollars got into cape town right about 8 a.m so i got there early i already had my itinerary set i got there and i was staying at a small boutique hotel which the name will be right below here and it was so freaking cute it's only like six rooms in there it's super intimate like you can tell it's just like this it has this really great homey feeling and i really did enjoy it although i wasn't at the hotel very long so the um concierge he was nice enough to allow me to leave my bag because i did have something to do super early so i dropped my bag off and i left i was like okay i gotta go do stuff see stuff before it's time for me to um go to my tour so i left um he showed me where to walk to get to the beach area cape town is absolutely stunning okay absolutely stunning you have to do it if you just don't do anything else go sit at the beach because cape town coast is absolutely stunning guys have to see it i had enough time to go eat, go and eat breakfast before my first tour started went inside at the beach for about an hour and then it was time for me to go and do my paragliding And how they do it is they record with a GoPro. They want you to focus. So they're recording with the GoPro. Um, for me to get my pictures and video off of their GoPro, they, of course, sell them to you. I think it was like $10 US or something like that. Maybe closer to 20 It didn't matter. But I wanted my pictures and video. So I paid them the money in South African Rand. After that, I had more than enough time to go and go back to the hotel really quickly just to kind of spruce up to, because my next tour was meeting me at my hotel. Went, got there, was at, probably at the hotel a half an hour, and then my actual tour picked me up, and that's when I went to Table Mountain. Next, we went to just kind of go around downtown Cape Town to see some of the city buildings and just to kind of get a feel of what the city looks like. And then we went to Borka. You guys know I love color. I was like, this is the reason I booked this tour to just see all the colorful houses. It actually is a very historic neighborhood. The houses are colorful because at the time when the settlers came, they moved in, but there were no house numbers. So each color represented a different family house, you know, so there could be distinction between each house. So you knew what house was yours or the neighbors. So I did think that small history fact was amazing because I wouldn't have thought that. I'm just like, okay, y'all got color because you just want the color of your house blue. You want the color of your house yellow. You know, your neighbor did it. So I'm like, oh shit. If you could color your house yellow, I could do mine pink. 
but it has <laughs> it has its reasons a uh, rhyme and reason of course as everything does so it was an amazing amazing day fun fun field packed with stuff and after that tour is finally when I went back to the hotel got a little bit of rest i was able to um, book my hotel room and i'm going to show you guys a video of that right so now here's my place in cape town it's a cute little luxury sea view room it's very very cute decorations very simple it's giving me like those cute beach, beach house vibes and this is the part that i love so much this is the sunset right now african sunset is the best i'm about to enjoy that but yeah very simple cute place for my one night that i'll be spending here as you can see i booked a hotel room that had a nice view of the ocean so that i could just kind of be in my element for a minute I didn't get that in Joburg because Joburg is not near the beach. That is another reason why I chose Cape Town. You guys know how much I adore water. So I had to just have a small moment with the ocean. And I'm glad I did because that hotel was perfect for me. And after that, I headed back to Joburg. I think Friday when I got in.